Tokyo Game Show is officially right around the corner and the Monster Hunter community, rightfully so, is very excited for this official Capcom Tokyo Game Show standout presentation that they are going to be hosting where we are expecting to see hopefully and finally major news on Monster Hunter 6, Monster Hunter World 2, Monster Hunter Rise or Sunbreak 2 Paradise, whatever the name ends up being. And today I want to give my little bit of a couple of predictions that I think are going to happen during this entire digital presentation event as Capcom is not just going to be talking about Monster Hunter, of course, but they're going to be talking about a lot of games, especially since Capcom has not really been talking all that much lately. Even through the entire fake pseudo E3 season, all those Gamescom presentations and all of that, Capcom was relatively tame. They didn't really have a lot to say, and I think finally they are going to stand out. So I want to divide this video into three specific sections. First, talk about what the actual things Capcom is going to talk about. Then, talk about what we can expect when it comes to the official Monster Hunter reveal of Monster Hunter Generation 6. And then give a little bit of predictions as to what they'll actually show related to that. Uh, I'm going to be leaving some timestamps in the video if you want to skip to those specific uh, areas in this video. But first and foremost, for those who may not necessarily know, yes, Capcom is hosting a digital and a physical presentation uh, over in Japan. Of course, Tokyo Game Show is a Japanese physical event where people are going to be able to walk around um, on the floor and be able to play certain games. They did confirm that, of course, this is taking place from September 21st. 22nd, 23rd, and the 24th. They're separate times, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They're holding different times for those physical um, kind of like states uh, where you're going to be able to go play some of the games like Dragon's Dogma 2, the Resident Evil 4 uh, VR mode uh, for PlayStation VR 2, Street Fighter 6, the newly released Monster Hunter Now, Exo Primal, and Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Trilogy, which is something really interesting that I'm hoping uh, gets a hefty chunk in the presentation. But of course, the digital event version of the game, the online event, if you will, is a Capcom online program or a digital presentation event taking place on September 21st, 7 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. East Coast time here for those of us here in North America. So tune in for that. We don't necessarily know how long this is going to be. We do know there's going to be a pre-recorded presentation. So probably about an hour or so, unless they're just going to be doing highlights or just short trailers and stuff like that. So maybe a more condensed 30 to 35 minutes. It's interesting that they haven't confirmed that as of the time of this recording. Probably that changes by we get closer to that date. Though, I do remember that, again, they're talking about just a couple of games here. Dragon's Dogma 2, which is, of course, probably the more interesting reveal out of everything that we have seen in this specific lineup. Uh, I think we've only seen maybe two minutes of gameplay for this, so not a whole heck of a lot. Street Fighter 6, which is already out, so presumably they're just going to be talking more uh, roadmap, more characters, more of that... Um, what do they call it? The street mode or whatever it is, uh, where you're like making your own character and you're fighting with players on the streets of the game. Exo Primal, of course, the roadmap is ongoing for that. Uh, so they're going to be talking more about that. The Resident Evil 4 VR mode for PlayStation VR 2. I think that's interesting um, for the Resident Evil remake. Um, but, you know, they're not going to talk about 9 here. We are expecting 9 in 2025 based on the previous leak. So probably they're going to be talking about Resident Evil 9 probably at some point next year. Of course, Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Trilogy is coming to N Nintendo Switch and all the other consoles. Uh, this was really interesting to me specifically because I'm, I've not played all of the Ace Attorney games. And I believe these maybe have been just uh, like 3DS games or something like that. So it, it is catching a little bit of my eye. And of course, the newly released Monster Hunter Now. Uh, my pseudo type review should be up by this point. So you kind of already have my opinions on this game. And you already kind of know what I think about it. The fact that it is an online mostly focused mobile game is not really my most appealing genre, but the fact that they are going to be adding more and more content should keep players entertained for a little bit. Hopefully it gets more content, though I think it's dying for more content at this point in time. Then, of course, there's 
the what else what else are they going to talk about well of course they're going to reveal something something because uh basically through the official um capcom games official website about i want to say maybe three weeks ago or so uh we saw a little bit of a, of a data mine here where people basically were looking through the code of the page and they found that there is already a pending logo in the page that has not been fully revealed of course by the time that this video goes live we might not we might actually have already seen that logo or something along those lines so this might actually be a mute point at the end of the day but of course we expect that to be monster hunter generation 6 whatever the name they end up choosing doesn't really matter we just know that it's going to be a next mainline monster hunter game we've known about this game now since around september uh, sorry december or so so last year when ryoso sujimoto specifically spoke about looking forward to tokyo game show 2023 where they are going to be talking about more monster hunter related news now I would argue, and probably I did argue at some point earlier in this year, that they would be talking about Monster Hunter now, the mobile game, since we at some point didn't necessarily know when it was going to launch. And I kind of thought, hey, maybe they're just going to talk about the mobile game at the end of the day and nothing else. Maybe they'll just wait for the big reveal of, you know, the next mainline Monster Hunter game, probably until 2024 when they're talking about Switch 2, PlayStation 5 Pro, etc. But of course, we know that it's not going to be the case. We do expect uh, finally something to be fully revealed here. And I do want to speculate a little bit on what that could actually look like. And my wager will most likely be it's just a very quick logo followed by some sort of like maybe a new monster walking around in an environment. If you guys remember when World was originally revealed, Actually, people didn't necessarily know what they were looking at. The first few seconds of that, I remember seeing reactions online of like, you know, video reactions of like, you know, people streaming the presentation and people didn't. I believe it was a PlayStation uh, conference or something that they were like E3 conference or something when we first got to see Monster Hunter World and people didn't necessarily know what to make of it. They didn't know what to what, what it was. Uh, it, they just knew it was a Capcom thing, but didn't necessarily know. And then. They kind of like, oh, this looks weird and funky, and I'm not necessarily sure what I'm looking at. And of course, Anjanath came out, and they were chasing it around the the tree and the entire map. So you know that was interesting in its own right. Until um, you know, we got a second look at a trailer many many months later. That people kind of start to get a good grasp on what world was. Rise wasn't necessarily like that because it leaked, so we kind of knew ahead of time. Um, but World certainly took a lot of people by surprise because they weren't necessarily sure what they were looking at originally. I do think they're going to do a better job doing that this time around by just showing maybe a generic Monster Hunter logo, some traditional Monster Hunter character garb, a character just looking normally like you see hunters fashioned and then they transition to a map, whatever new monster they are going to showcase. Of course, not the flagship. But a very quick 10 to 15 second clip that we're going to have to loop over and over and over again for many, many months until, of course, uh, we get an official full on trailer with more monsters, more maps and stuff like that. Um, or I would actually wager, and this is probably going to be the more uh, cynical side of me, they actually don't show anything. But we do end up getting a Ryoso Sujimoto quote in a very specific, let's say, Gamatsu for me to type interview where they just talk about the fact that they got more things to show and stay tuned for 2024, specifically talking about Monster Hunter. So, you know, of course, then once again, confirming that they have something that they're working on, which we know that already, but not necessarily showing anything out of the gate. This wouldn't be the first time that they do that. They've done that before. They Hell, they did that with Sunbreak. They, we knew that there was going to be an expansion. And I believe, man, it might have been Gamescom that year or something along those lines uh, when it was rolling around into the next year and they said, stay tuned for more things in the future or whatever. They, didn't, they just talked about it very vaguely that there was going to be more content for Rise, if I remember correctly. So all in all, players shouldn't necessarily be expecting a full-on trailer 15-minute thing with a brand new monster and a bunch of armors and new web. I don't, you sh that's not what we're going to be expecting. You shouldn't be expecting that here. Um, they're going to be talking about many more things. They just launched for them in their eyes, a brand new Monster Hunter game. They want players to be able to be playing Monster Hunter now 
whether you're a mobile gamer or not, a gacha gamer or not, it doesn't really matter. They want you to be playing that. Niantic certainly does as well. So they're not going to go to full hog. I think they're going to do a maybe optimistic me says 10 to 15 second, a very short CGI trailer thing. No in game captured or anything like that. Just whatever vague idea, character, then a monster outline or something shadowy in the in the background in the woods or something. Splash screen logo. That's the end of that. Screen goes black. Or the more pessimistic me thinks, hey, maybe Ryosu Sujimata comes out, talks a little bit about Monster Hunter now. Please play it. We're hopefully you're hoping have a good time, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And then he says, stay tuned for 2024 for more news. You know, doesn't even show anything. And then we hear in a Famitsu interview, IGN Japan interview, whatever, you know, them talking about, hey, yeah, we we have more to show. There's a new game in the works. We'll talk about it more at a later date. You know, that's the pessimistic side of me, but hopefully uh, we do get more than that. Again, Mines suggests a logo at the very least. Mines also suggests a April, March-ish type of launch. Um, the fiscal reports for Capcom also suggest a March launch because by the end of March they are reporting multiple millions of sales on a brand new unannounced game so it won't be Dragon's Dogma it won't be Ace Attorney remake from 3DS games or whatever the case is it has to be a brand new game and of course we expect that to be whatever the next mainline Monster Hunter is now uh, ultimately whether that game is coming on Nintendo Switch or not won't really affect my coverage. I've said that before already. I saw a couple of people wondering if I was going to still cover the next Man game. Of course I will. This is half a Nintendo Switch, half a Monster Hunter channel at this point in time. I like talking about the things that I care about. If you guys watch my videos, you know I don't particularly talk about everything that's popular because I usually talk about the things that cater to me. Uh, this is a channel that's mostly personal for me. And if you like it and you enjoy it, certainly follow, leave a like and all of that. But I talk about things that I care about. I don't particularly, I'm not chasing the algorithm. I'm not necessarily chasing the views anymore or ever for that matter. Um, maybe I did at some point, but I don't particularly care. Um, and at the end of the day, I like to talk about things that cater to me and that appeal to me. And certainly Monster Hunter will continue to be that. And other games that are not necessarily Capcom or Monster Hunter related also appeal to me as well. Uh, but those are very much my predictions with a bit of a personal take on the whole Monster Hunter thing. At the end of the day, I'm certainly hopeful that Capcom gives us something because, man, I don't really want to look at the Internet after this Tokyo Game Show presentation, uh, the digital online event, and Capcom doesn't show us anything. And then, man, how pessimistic everyone's going to be. I certainly don't want to stick around for that. Uh, but that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below for the Capcom Games.com website, where, of course, they talk about more details for this digital presentation. If you're brand new to my channel, though, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.